Elizabeth Arden cream. This one's wife. Martha Stewart. Suze. This one's wife. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. No oh dear. More trouble it would appear for this one's wife. The launch of her new brand, her lifestyle brand, has been met with considerable criticism. The name has been ridiculed. As I've said before, it sounds like a nursing or care home. PR experts have slammed the choice. The launch was widely derided. There's nothing you can yet buy. Many people saw it as just an attempt to bring attention onto this one's wife in order to steal the thunder from Prince William as he did the Diana Legacy Awards. But apparently there's further trouble on the horizon for this one's wife as lifestyle brand legend and domestic goddess Martha Stewart appears to have this one's wife in her sights. According to a video that has appeared on YouTube, Martha Stewart has filed suit against this one's wife for copying the name of a reality show. Martha Stewart's lawyers are up against this one's wife for stealing the name of a reality TV show. According to the trademark filing for American Riviera Orchard, this one's wife's new lineup will feature edible oils, jams, jellies, and spreads, as well as nuts and fruit butters. The trademark filing also shows this one's wife plans to sell cookbooks. The video goes on to explain, it's typical this one's wife, a big, flashy announcement with a trademark application and a half-baked plan of some sort that only makes sense to her. Clearly, the originator of this video is no fan of this one's wife. It then goes on to ramble on for a minute or so, telling us all about the launch, and then talks further about the trademark application and what is included in that by way of the merchandise. The video then continues by explaining, in the section of owner, Mama Knows Best LLC, it was discovered that she copied the name of a reality television show hosted by Martha Stewart called Martha Knows Best, which was a gardening and home show. But now, this one's wife copied the name of the show and changed it to Mama Knows Best. The video then goes on to tell us what the Martha Knows Best show was and how it originated during COVID, apparently, and it followed what she was up to at her farm home. The video continues by stating... The plagiarism never stops. You can imagine the words just rolling around in her head. Martha knows best. A work of art. Imitation may be flattery, but when it borders on copyright infringement, this is a whole different story. Accordingly, a video has been created and that has been watched by numerous people confirming that Martha Stewart has filed suit against this one's wife for copying name of reality TV show and filing trademark claim. Thus it would appear that litigation is pending by a wealthy domestic heavyweight, which isn't something that this one's wife would want. Naturally, litigation is a threat to control, and the money that is involved in it drains the residual benefit. But... Other than telling us that Martha Stewart has filed suit, it gives no further details, simply criticising this one's wife and talking about what American Riviera Orchard is going to be and a bit about the launch. First of all, the company named Mama Knows Best is quite clearly taken from a phrase, Mother Knows Best, Mama Knows Best. It doesn't, to my mind, seem to be anything related to Martha Knows Best, other than that there are two words which are similar. I doubt that it would be actionable in the first place. And moreover, it isn't the case that 
the brand that has been created by this one's wife is called Mama Knows Best. That's just the company that has been created to act as the corporate vehicle for this brand. It is Mama Knows Best trading as American Riviera Orchard. I doubt in itself that it is actionable, but even if I'm wrong about that, the video doesn't actually provide us with any more information about the suit, when it was filed, what relief it's seeking. Is it seeking an injunction to restrain the brand from operating? Is it seeking a division of profits? It doesn't say. Now, oddly enough, this video purporting to tell us that Martha Stewart has already filed legal proceedings against this one's wife comes from Royal Trends. And therefore, it behooved me to search more widely for information about whether Martha Stewart has indeed filed suit against this one's wife. And oddly enough, there's no mention of it whatsoever in any other form of media. What we do get, however, is a series of videos. Martha Stewart sued this one's wife over alleged reality TV that came from UK Royal Tra Trends. Sued. Martha Stewart is filing a lawsuit against this one's wife, UK Royal Secrets. Martha Stewart lawyers up against this one's wife for stealing title. Royal Reels. Martha Stewart sued this one's wife over alleged reality television copyright infringement, UK Royal Trends. This one's wife caught stealing from Martha Stewart. Well, the fact is that it's just a succession of videos that appear to have all originated from the same stable. And once again, I bring this to your attention to demonstrate a number of points. That in all of those videos, once again, and they're all just three minutes long, I haven't listened to them all, but they'll be along the similar lines to the one that I've more or less provided to you verbatim. There are people commenting, accepting this to be the truth. There is no lawsuit. There is no action taken by Martha Stewart. It's another lie that has been perpetrated by these channels. And this is what creates an illusory reality whereby people who do not think properly who do not apply critical thinking, simply accept what has been stated in these videos and then comment to demonstrate they accept it and no doubt then go off elsewhere on the internet, referencing the fact that Martha Stewart has filed this one's filed suit against this one's wife when she has not. Once again, this enables this one's wife to say, look, see how once again they're telling lies about me See how, once again, they're creating nonsense. These are hate accounts designed to smear me. And, of course, she's entirely accurate to complain about these particular channels because they do libel her. They make up nonsense and peddle it as truth. The problem is, too many people accept what's contained within these outlets, which are created, of course, for clickbait, and it behooves me to bring this to your attention as part of me encouraging you to think critically, to assess the evidence, to consider the veracity of the information that you're receiving, and to point out that these activities are dangerous with regard to those of you who actively want to expose the lies and revisions of history that this one's wife engages in. This provides her with smoke screens. It enables her to con other people by saying, look, these are patently untrue. All of these videos, six or seven different channels pumping out all these various different videos, it is entirely preposterous. And it's equally as important as part of the provision of accurate information and the demonstration of how this material actively works against the proper exposure of this one's wife's behaviour, that I will keep bringing it to your attention. The more of you that witness this and apply critical thinking, the better, because then you can apply that to the accurate information that's provided in relation to this one's wife. There's no evidence whatsoever that Martha Stewart has filed suit. There's no evidence that there has been an infringement of copyright by this one's wife. There's no evidence that legal action has been taken. And yet, several channels 
have spouted this nonsense, resulting in thousands of people potentially believing it. Make sure you don't fall prey to this nonsense. Apply your critical thinking, evaluate the evidence, and in so doing, your case to demonstrate the behaviours of this one's wife will be all the stronger. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.